It's finally here! Subnautica, below zero! It's out of early access. This is the full version of the game. It's finally released. It just released today for me as I'm recording this video. And I'm very excited for it because this has been in the works for a long time. I've kind of played through two iterations of it by now. When it first came out in early access... Okay. Oh god, I don't like that sound. <laughs> okay. Oh yes, it's good to be back! And then they rewrote it and changed a bunch of stuff and a bunch of stuff behind the scenes happened with the game. So it went under a complete rewrite, some of the stuff and the premise and everything of the game was changed. So it says immediately, Below Zero is under heavy construction. Not just regular construction, heavy construction. Everything is different. I'm kind of curious to see what it's going to end up as right now. As many of you know, I absolutely love this franchise and the original game of Subnautica meant a great deal to me. So I hope this one is just as good. From the stuff that I've played previously of it, some of the level design and some of the sort of navigation of it was a little bit clunkier than the original. But I'm curious to see how streamlined it is now in the final version of the game and how much has remained versus how much has changed. Also, you might notice that the background's all different because my lights died before I recorded this video. So now I have no lights in the background, so we're just going to sit back and chill in the dark. Uh, but let's get in and play. I deleted my other save file just so we can go in completely clean. Uh, I'm just going to do survival. Why not? Ooh, new loading screen. Is that the ship that's up in the space outside of all of this before? This is exactly what it is. The meteor shower is happening. Even the loading screen is so cute. Look at the little dude going. I forget what they're called. <laughs> All right. Now that we've that out of the way, thank you for blessing me. Let's get in. This is the farthest that I can take you on company space bucks, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me and Sam. I need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Wait! First of all, this looks cool. Wasn't the whole thing that she was British before? Like her and her sister? Is the sister still even in the game? 45, 46 feet. Surface temperature is below zero! Hmm. Okay. So this is very different. Huh. Alrighty. Oh god. Ah oh, god, it's everywhere. Oh god! It's all exploding! Jesus! <laughs> okay, okay! Getting out of here! <laughs> Holy God! Run, Robin, run! Get away from everything! What an intro! Holy smokes! That did not go as planned. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. Oh man, you got a stinky voice now! No discredit to the person actually voicing her, like you're doing a fine job. It's just the other one had so much more personality. Wait, and now we're just hmm. Okay, uh, I need to turn down my sensitivity because holy God Almighty, this is high. All right, we're going to compare a lot because I've played the previous iterations. I remember the second version of it had that intro sequence of you leaving and exiting the thing and the storm coming down, and then I don't think it was finished. But the original one was you on the planet already, and then a, a lightning storm happens. Um, the meteor shower looks cooler, but it's already stopped. But then, like, stuff breaks off, and you have to get back to your station, but you can't get back because the thing gets covered over. And then your station, station gets submerged, and then you have no choice but to go down in here, and then your sister drops in a pod for you, and now all of that's gone. Now we're just... a criminal, by the sounds of it. We just left! And we're trying to hide from Altera. I don't know why. Altera is like the big corporation. Give me you. New creature discovered. Oh, and your voice is different! That... New creature discovered. New creature discovered. I miss the old voice. I miss everything. 
<laughs> oh, I miss everything. Okay, it's gonna take me a while to get used to this. <laughs> Subnautica hasn't even been out for that long. The original one, and I'm already nostalgic for it. Let's grab some stuff while we can. So, I'm a pretty huge fan of the original game, so I might be a little harsh Oxygen. on some stuff that's happening, and I apologize in advance if I go too deep on it. I'll try and enjoy my experience for what it is. Down the drop pod. All right, so let's make some food. Logs and communications. I'm sorry about your sister. Okay, so we still have a sister. Can I read it? I want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister. I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 454. Wait, my sister's dead? When we were thrown together as base mates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. I thought you should know. It didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut she off. She has a great voice, by the way. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower. Impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. Man, so they just cut that, uh, sort of narrative point out of the rewrite? Now she, her, she has a sister, but she's just dead. Robin, guess what? I got the job. I'm going to 4546B. Now I'll be able to improve the mechanical avian amphibian under real-world stress conditions. The what? Listen, I know your stance on Altera, but I just hope you're happy your sis is happy. I sure hope my sis is happy. <laughs> I can't wait till we talk again. Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Can you watch my Augie while I'm away? I need someone I can trust to look after my best little potato. <laughs> potato? That's me. Listen. I tried, but that name is just not sticking. He's my little extra bite. I'll leave the starchy tuber as nicknames to you. Anyway, if you say yes, thanks, baby sis. Love you. Yeah, the mechanical avian amphibian. Yeah, extra bite, starchy tuberous nickname. A lot of stuff going on here. Um, she has a lot more stuff here to listen to, but I. Well, Sam, I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. So, I just want to get on with some exploring and stuff for right now. We listen to those when we can. Um, so is this going to be a thing where they blame the sister's death on negligence, and now me, at this current time, have left the thing and I'm getting away from Altera and want to find out the answers of what actually happened to her? That's, that's kind of cool, honestly. Oh, I just missed them being British! I don't know why you changed that. I don't have any tools whatsoever. I am completely blank. All I have is some quotes. Hell yeah. Ooh, yeah, we need to get a sea glide. I'll get to y'all eventually. I'll kill everything in this ocean. Don't you guys even worry about it. So I need to make a scanner first. Foremost. Unless I can just... Paper! Come here. New creature discovered. New creature discovered. What? Well, I, I missed the other lady going... Oxygen. Yeah! That's literally what I was about to say! The other lady would say... Oxygen. Look, it's not that big a difference, but it meant a lot to me! What's that in the distance? It looks like an Altera thing. Is it literally just ice? No, it has like, railings. What are this? Wait, hold on. Uh, sea Custers! I need you to make some silicone rubber. And then if I make some rubber, then I can make... Your blueprint synthesized. Thank you! I can make a knife, and then with a knife I can get more creep vines, and then with more creep vines I can just make more stuff. But what are this? I would very much like to know, please. Get out of there, penguins! It's dangerous. It's all Terra Tech. They're bad guys now. To be fair, they did charge me like 400 billion dollars last time I came back. 
Oh, I was hoping that was going to lead to something. Hello? Anything? A flare! Why are you using it immediately? No! Put it away! Nutrient block. That's handy. But that's it! Come on, man! That stinks! New blueprint acquired. She's not gonna say that anymore. She's just gonna be like, here you go, here's your stuff, get out of my face. <laughs> Alright, a knife is good. Knife is life. Um, and then I'll work on fiber mesh for a tank. Ooh, and I can just make more silicone tank. Yeah! Flip it up! Flip it up, flip it up! Put some big flippies on! We're gonna swim like... <laughs> I was gonna say swim like Mike Tyson. He's not a swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go get some creepines. Lordy, it got dark. I put the things on, right? I put the flippers on. It really doesn't feel like I'm flipping. Feel like I could flip a bit faster than this. New blueprint synthesized. Synthesized. Get out of here! I want to hear Susie say new blueprint acquired. Was it Susie? Sally? Sandra? I had a lot of names for a lot of things. Hardly any of them made sense. My brain can't keep up with itself half the time. It's like, yeah, do this thing. And then two seconds later, I'm like, wait, what did you want me to do, man? Calm down. Adding additional blueprints to your data bank. Thank you. Very appreciated. Okay, so we got 30 seconds extra of oxygen. That is great. That's good news. The standard oxygen tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. VIP breathing? We had fancy over here. Do I have anything to be able to make a scanner yet? Scanner, yeah. A battery and titanium. So for a battery, I needed... Ribbon plant and copper ore. A ribbon plant, ribbon plant, ribbon, ribbon, ribbon plant, ribbon plant, ribbon plant. I remember there being some ribbon plants around here. There's one right there. Seriously, Robin, can you kick the flippers a little harder? Come on, we're on a fucking budget time scale here. Ribbon plants contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. That's pretty epic. I'm glad to hear that. Glad I picked them up. That's exactly what I wanted to know. Um... We get the scanner, then we can make a sea glide. Make a sea glide, then my flippers will be moot. Titanium! You better have titanium immediately. Thank you. Very much appreciated. See, game knows what's up. The King of Sonotica is back, and he's here to do some fucking business. I would like all the things given to me. It is nice to be back, though. It's nice to be playing right. the game again. I have a scanner. Yeah, I have a scanner. That's pretty pod champ. Where did I see that piece? She glide fragments. I wonder if they've added any new creatures as well, because I haven't kept up with I've tried to stay kinda like dark on the whole production of the game, so I don't know if they've added any new creatures. Or something about like a Giga Leviathan or something at some point. I don't know. I didn't want to play the game too much in increments anymore. I wanted to wait until the full version was out. Because it's easy to just keep doing every tiny little update and putting out a video and getting views on that. But I, I wanted to make sure that I was taking my time with it and doing it properly and providing a series rather than providing content. You know? There's a very discernible difference. Also, if you're new to me playing Subnautica, welcome. There's a lot of downtime. It's a lot of me rambling. Um, I just came back for oxygen more than I- Oh no, I came back to make water. Whatever. Because I don't know if you guys knew this, but you actually get thirsty before you get hungry. Like in real life as well. Most of the times that you're actually hungry, you're actually just thirsty, and you should drink water first. And then if you're still hungry after that, then get a large Domino's pizza for yourself. I also know that there's a million billion different things to scan around here. I'm not going to be scanning them. So you can keep your comments in your purse. Because... Most times it's just... Uh, whoa! 
Oh, is that Mount Doom? Most times the scanning stuff is like busy work. It's it's nice to see some extra stuff about the environment, but I I like just making progress rather than doing every like I'm not a collectible kind of guy in any game. I got completely turned around from where I was going. Didn't I see more fragments somewhere close? Why now am I legally blind? Oh, there's a piece right here. Stink? Sea glide! It was right next to my thing. <laughs> oh, stupid. Thank God. I'm moving at the speed of slow right now, and I would like to be much, much faster. I've got exploring to do. I've got to figure out why Altera killed my sister. Okie dokie. I am making... Sea glide! 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 Sea... Sea glide, lubricant, copper wire, and battery. All the things I need to build a girlfriend. Copper wire, bloop, and a bloop. Copper, copper, praying for copper. Copper, copper! Copper! The game has given me everything I need. Streamer loot, let's go! Get more ribbon plants. I'm gonna need them. Make a billion batteries. I need to make a recharger immediately. To make it easier on myself. Because batteries ain't cheap. This requires hard labor. Swimming around. My legs get tired. My face gets all squished. In the water. Should be just grabbing these as I go. If I see them, I grab them. And if I grab them, I have them. And if I bop it, I twist it. I know I said that and then immediately just ignored that one. But I'm about to die of... Water poisoning. God, does it ever stop raining? Where are we? Fucking England. No, because the voice actors are not British anymore. I'm still upset about it. They should bring in a system in this game that... Well, I guess they kind of had it. I want to be able to, like... I want, like, full farming. I want to be able to plant, like, all my own stuff for my own crops and... I don't have to water them. Like a full-on farming system. They kind of had that in the last game, right? I can't remember. You can put that, you can like plant your own food and shit. Um, but I want to be able to like harvest my own ribbon plants. And, like build up a system and get really good. Oh no, it's down here. Sea glide! Nice! -oo! God, this is going to be sea so handy. Is a personal transportation device used for high speed free diving. Contains a built in light and map. Cook Arctic peeper. Decomposing. Lord almighty, you don't last piss in time. Uh, okay, I got an egg as well, a creature egg. I'll put that away before it bursts and eats my face. Uh, and I'll put you in one. All right, coolie. Here we go again on my own. I'm gonna go this way, because this is where the, the stuff was in the other version of the game. Like the rocket that I had to send off back to my sister for samples or something. Now my sister's dead and I'm trying to find out who did it. I'm sort of like a weird kind of Batman. Oh, whoops. Bad first person shooter habits. Just always pressing R to make sure that I have full ammo. Ah, uh, cool music. Oh, we're getting close. This guy's familiar. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Jesus, it's still so scary. Please don't eat my face. I really like it being attached to my body. Yeah, this place. That's where I want to go. Oh, but I have to get past the fucky! Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. No, 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 no. You're not coming to me, are you? No, no. He's just chomping on some fish. That's fine, bro. Chomp away. I'm not going to stop you from killing the fish. All terror beacon signature detected. <laughs> Unique identifier. Delta station dock. <laughs> Delta station. Yeah, that's cool! This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. Uh, get out of the water! Ha <sighs> ha, idiots! You can't even catch me. Oh, whoo! I just shit my pants four times. Use beacons to mark traverse territory. Show or hide the signals of your choice with your Xenoworks PDA. Alrighty. Now with surface support. Now with surface support. These, these things are handy to scan, because at least they give me the means of building them. A beach! 
I want a beach. Oh, coffee machine. Absolutely. You know I've been drinking those good beans. I was drinking the good dirty beans right before this. There's still a little bit of juice left in there. Oh, and it's cold and it's fine because coffee is the greatest beverage that mankind has ever procured from the ground. Trash can. Yep, I need somewhere to sleep. All right, let's explore. Is this gonna be the same? Hold on, hold on. I have a light stick to get. I got a fragment. I thought it was a fragment, but I guess this I only need one. This is a recorded message. If you can hear this, you're trespassing. If you know it's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. You'd get the hell out of here. Wait, is that the lady who was... We met a lady who had a pet dog beast last time. And when I played it previously, she was deep underwater though. Is that- her? that was her voice, right? Okay, we need to be careful now because freezing temperatures are a facet of this game. And I would really like to not die. It's kind of high on my list of priorities when it comes to gaming at a high top tier level. Ah, uh, oh you heat me up! That's why you look so weird. As I didn't mean to say weird, I meant... Beautiful. Because before, I never knew why they were in the game. They were just weird looking. They're beautiful! Beautiful! What is this? Hello? Oh! That's just like a little vent. A little thermal hot spring. Lovely. Oh. I actually can kind of feel it. I <laughs> feel like a chill in my bones walking around in here. Icy, biting cold. The white snow on the screen. Really accentuating the white, milky pastiness of my skin in real life. Thank you, game. Ah, uh, this looks like progress. Can't spell progress without poggers! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Stop right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off my land. Most of it is an ocean, stupid. Also, now I remember that that actually did happen before and it still got me. The woman in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. It would appear I'm far less alone on this planet than I had anticipated. Mm. Signal <laughs> location uploaded to PDA. Pilot last known position. Cool, 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 cool. What's in you, sir? New blueprint synthesize, a bioreactor. Oh, baby, we're kicking it off big style. Almost immediately. This isn't even a rocket ship anymore! It was so cool that I could put stuff in the rocket ship and then it took off and I could see it off in the distance. And I even remarked... I'm gonna die of the cold. I remarked at the time that I really loved that, that more games needed to do that kind of shit. I said more games needed to have stuff like big in the distance and have like big events happen and stuff go up into the skybox and shit like that. And now you took that away? Man! Logs and communications. Gone fishing. Tower okay. maintenance log. Okay, this time the birds have really done it. I don't know what they've been eating, but it's corrosive when it comes out the other end. I'm gonna need to rewire. I'm short an element to fabricate the right cable. I remember seeing someone who did that dive to the old ship. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can get some more. That should fix it. Maintenance status, in progress. In poggers. So this is the big ship that's crashed to like, the rear of me. All right, let's listen to another Sam message. 4546B to Robin. Come in, Robin. <laughs> Remember when we used to play old timey space explorer? This is kind of like that, but it's even harder to communicate. <laughs> well, let's see. I got your last message. Altera is not, as you put it, all terrorizing me. Things are going well. My project has a new name. Say goodbye to the mechanical avian amphibian. And hello to spy panglings. 
We're training the bots to mimic the creatures. That's a much Check better name, photo. honestly. And I think I'm kind of seeing someone. I know it's not like me to just find a date, let alone on a mostly uninhabited water planet, but actually, you know what? Forget I said anything. Yeah, it's it's probably not even a real thing. Are you seeing a pangling? Anyway, um, I'm sorry to hear Xenoworks might be strapped in the revenue department. Sounds like they still have you busy Xeno working, though. I know there's no way to guarantee an alien intelligence startup will succeed, but you've put so much into it. I hope they find a way to keep going. I know how much it means to you, getting to work at a small place where you have control over your research. All right, I gotta go. Later, baby sis. Love you. Oh. Cute. I think I'm kind of seeing someone. No, 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 no. We've already heard that you're seeing someone. Look, it got fucking nighttime by the time you finished your conversation. All right, what is this going to help me do? Status report. Sector zero region scan. Two active human life forms detected. Unauthorized habitat, construction, and vehicular activity detected. Recommendation, observe and prepare for possible intervention. Huh. Okay, so is that the building that you're doing over there? That's it? But it's a giant beacon! Shouldn't it help me do something? Oh, I'm so far away from my thing. I'm actually closer to this now than I am to that. Shit! I can't get into the building over here, right? Oh, wait, I actually didn't try. Oh, I can't! It just looked like it was all covered in snow. Oh, it is all covered in snow. A jukebox? Gotta have it. I'm awful to deal with without my tunes. The lockers are really handy. Uh, a bar table for when all my friends come over. New blueprint synthesized. No, it's acquired! Let's get that right now. Coffee. Water. Oh, hell yeah. And a single wall shelf? Dude, I'm gonna start up my own, like, screw the Xeno thingy, Bobby. Altera Facilities map? No way! You actually give me a map? In Subnautica? What is this? I remember back in the day, us subnautious veterans, we had to go out there, we had to search. We had to be like, okay, where's the Aurora? All right, you go right then. That's where the island is. And where's my, where's Henry? All right, you go behind him, and then that's where the other mountain is. And then you just had to figure it out. No, this map was made for all you dum-dums out there. A map will come in handy. It's me. I should be able to find my way to Phi Robotics where Sam works. Yeah, I'm dum-dums. It's me. I, the map is very helpful. <laughs> it's gonna help me know exactly where to go and where to poggers. Um, okay. Dude, I'm just getting everything here. Modification station? These are all huge. Framed picture? A shaving kit? Fred's shaving kit. Who's Fred? Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. It's just like when we were kids and we used to play underwater city. Only sea monsters aren't pretend and I don't need to hide behind you when one swims by. Because I'm safe in my sea truck. Safe and very, very brave. <laughs> Please tell Dad for me. Thanks so much for the mustache, kid. By the way, to be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is something of a challenge here, and as you know, I'm a pretty low-maintenance guy to begin with. But you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency. There have been some close scrapes. For a while there, someone was sabotaging my truck, and I thought I was seeing things. But my friend Sam helped me sort it out. Although, she's had some troubles of her own lately. To be honest, I get a little worried out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. Gotta expect a little risk, right? I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny, and Dad. Please find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry. I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a gift. Your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was Fred. Um, why did why are Fred's beds and Jeremiah's beds?
completely different. Why did I have to scan both of them? Communications tower maintenance lock. Another day, another slight by the winged furies. Hey, the furries. As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual, I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. I fear the career impact of saying this officially. If you can even call what I have a career. But I could swear they're targeting me personally. The week I was out with the flu, I came back to find the tower spotless. Parvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me. As if Parvin would ever clean anything. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. <laughs> oh, and I got the tower up and running. Maintenance complete. <sighs> Ow, my glankles! Oh, fuck! Ow! Oh, I couldn't see! Oh, now I can't walk! Oh, fuck! Ow! <laughs> ah! Ah, shit! Ah, oh, fuck! Ah, oh, stupid penguin! Oh, f Ow! Anyway, off I go! Oh, wait, I gotta avoid the disastrous monsters down here. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should... Yeah, do that first. Get some stuff over here so I never have to come back ever, ever, ever again. Mineral rich crevices detected below. I Geothermal activity detected. Caution advised. I don't care! Well, that's actually very helpful, thank you. Ooh, citro fragment, yes! Oh, I forgot how scary Subnautica is! I'm not used to it anymore. I'm. I feel like the older I get, the more scared I'm getting of things. It's like the fear of mortality is closer now than it's ever been. So now games feel like actual death is creeping. I don't like it. I don't want to die. <laughs> okay, if I can get one more fragment of a sea truck, I will be golden wonder potatoes. Yes. Where? Where and why? Hello? How are they- how are they hidden? They're like the size of a school bus! New technology acquired. That's great. That's great, Linda. I- Marvelous. Wonderful to the world! Shit. Shit. Yeah, you just chop 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 on your fishies over there. They're much better for you. Much higher in protein. Oh? That sounds like a distress call. Dude, that's- Transmission of unknown origin. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. That's not that deep. Dude, that was a fire beat! It was also just simple Morse code. I don't think- I think you would be able to just... Was that just SOS? Couldn't you just decode that? You're a supercomputer robot lady. And that was just simple Morse code. I don't fucking know Morse code. I don't even know SOS and Morse code. When would that ever help me? I'm a millennial. I'll just text for help. Oh, stranded on an island. My phone stopped working. Please help me. You know, like that. We got sea truck. We got uh, modification table. Um, other things. Multi-purpose room. Oh, I didn't get another piece for that habitat builder, did I? Distress call. Picked up what sounds like a distress call. Who or what is out here calling for help? Didn't sound human. Maybe it's from a remnant of architect technology. Oh. In her message, Sam's colleague did say there was something important here. Even if it's just a mimic from one of the more intelligent aquatic specimens, that could be a major find. Or if it's from Altera, it could have bearing on what happened to Sam. I should definitely check it out. I should definitely check it out, for sure. Um, okay, I need to build one of these, a wiring kit and a computer chip. Get a habitat going. Sick of living in the fucking water woods. 
That's basically what this is. You know, you're, you're out in the boonies. You're out in the woods. You're out in the middle of nowhere. That's basically the water equivalent of that. This is where I'm living right now. Where was that thing? What be happening here? The damn ugly thing followed me into the shallows. Didn't think something that big would follow me up here. Had a jettison the sea truck. Again. <sighs> I guess I could try to go back for the parts when it leaves. If it leaves. I really don't want to sit in another meeting with Emmanuel. Manu, as he likes to be called. Ugh, I just want to drive around and deliver cargo in peace. Amen, bro. Uh oh, I thought you would be back up right now. Oh, fuck! Don't worry, guys. I'm the king of Subnautica. I know what I'm doing. Well, let's listen to this fucking shit. <laughs> Fred, great to see you. Come on in. You don't mind if I record this, do you? Uh, am I in trouble? <laughs> no. You know me. Just a fanatic for details. And my memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> I know what that's like. Huh. Yes. Is that why you've been running so many personal errands for your colleagues? We asked you to limit them. Uh, so I am in trouble. That's not how I want you to look at it. Here's what I see. You're a team player. You want to get the job done. I think I have a pretty good record there. You want people to like you. Has anyone complained? Fred, the trouble is, not everyone is as reliable as you are. Sometimes people need help being where they need to be and concentrating on their work. All the trips were work-related. It appears you transported tech for Lil rather far out from her base. Lil well, needed to go deep. Oh, I got my stuff she back. She needed a sea truck. Her work is currently on surface installations. She shouldn't be anywhere near the water. I, uh, well, I... No more favors to friends, agreed? Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, I keep telling you. Call me Manu. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, <laughs> I'm not fucking calling you that. <laughs> okay. Tensions are high. But that's just any work environment, right? Like, you don't always get along with everybody in your work field. Lord knows there's a lot of YouTubers I don't get along with. But that's fine. You just kind of do your own thing and let them do their own thing. And every now and then you start some drama and call them out. <laughs> um, okay, computer chip, let's go! And a habitat builder. Nice. I need a... emergency shelter blueprints to your data bank. Thank you! I need to get... a builder tool, you can construct sea bases from... No bed, no storage, no place to put a fabricator module. No fun. Okay. Um, I'd like to, for you to not give me sass. Thank you. Spiral plant chipping. That's new. Um, or at least I can't remember seeing it before. So... I also need a mobile vehicle bay. Which I don't have yet. Do I? No. Do I? No. I want to start building a habitat. I want to put down like a multi-purpose room. I don't have any means to power it yet, though. Can I? How do? How do? How, how do there we go. <laughs> I couldn't hit button five on my keyboard. Wow! A whole world of possibilities now. Um, unless the mobile vehicle bay is something I make here, I can't remember. This whole series, I can't remember. I can't wait for everyone to repeat that in the comments. I can't remember. Uh, we'll build a multi-purpose room first. Well, we'll build a foundation first. I need lead for a foundation now? God! Subnoxious inflation, huh? I remember when you didn't need anything. Um... Uh, bloop! Wasn't it just titanium, originally? I don't- I can't remember. <laughs> you settle down now, okay? You sound like my stomach after a long night of not eating. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Where does it look best? Here, because then it fills up the space of the foundation that I put down that you're not directly in the middle of. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Am I? Oh, that's the wrong button. What was it? F3, F4, F5, F2, 
What is what gets rid of my stuff there? Am I having an oral migraine right now? What is happening? Is that the Aurora Boring Alice? It's probably just a lens artifact from my brain dying from being underwater for so long. You know, it's a lot of pressure down deep in the ocean, so it's just crushing my skull. Uh, and now I need to build some solar panels. Copper ore and quartz. Oxygen. Gotta love it! Oh god, you gotta love it, actually. I love me some oxygen! O2 and the brain make thoughts go brrrr. Where are the, the carts at? Where are you hiding all the carts, huh? There's a piece right there. I have a fucking peeper. Come here into my hands. Alright, cool. That should give us sufficient power. And then, I've already upgraded. I've been here for five minutes, and my house already looks better. I'm just a master at adaptability and surviving. What are you looking at with your big peeper, huh? Now you're gonna die. How does that feel? You're gonna die, you're gonna be in my stomach, but it's okay, because you're gonna be part of the greater empire. Starting to sound a little like a tyrant. But it's my planet, I can do whatever I want. Fuck you. Okay, I've had a good meal before, but never have I gone... Mm, that's a lie. There's some sandwiches I've had that I would definitely have sex with. Welcome aboard, Captain. There's the voice! Welcome aboard, Captain! That's some familiarity I like to hear. Um, okay. So now I need copper, quartz, and titanium again. Lord, I just need those all the time, huh? <laughs> Well, there you go, on the wall, I build you as much as I can. I know I have a fabricator next door, but I like consolidating everything into one space. And really, isn't that what this game is all about? Space? Underwater space? All Terra supply cache nearby. Ooh! Emergency supply cache! Don't mind if I- yes! Hold on, I'm going back home now. Look at that beautiful house! Stinky little apartment that I grew up in that was too small for me. Big gigachad house that I bought myself with no mortgage. Though it does come at the price of my own sanity. But I had bad credit on that already. Alright, what else are we building? A battery charger. Fuck yeah we are! That's gonna go on this wall! And you can't even stop me. You know why? Because I recorded this in advance. This is already done, and everything you're telling me in the comments to do right now, I can't do until next time. Not weird to think about. I'm having a conversation with you from the past. Technically, every conversation you have is in the past. Nothing happens now. Everything's happening in the past. Copper, 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 copper. Fuck! Copper, 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 copper. Fuck! Who's giving me bad luck out there? Why are you guys thinking titanium and not copper? Why would you want more titanium? That's just stupid. Copper, 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 copper. Yes! Copper, copper, copper. Fuck! Here we are! Here we are! Everything's all done. Nice. Lovely jubbly. Beautiful. Immaculate. A testament to humanity. Oh, I'ma fill you up for sure. Oh yeah, we're gonna put a modification table in you. I need a diamond? That's very hard to come by. Did you know the diamonds are actually pretty common in life? We've just added an artificial value to them. Kind of like NFTs and Bitcoins, cryptocurrencies. It's kind of the same thing. Oh, can I put it there? That would be perfect. It would look so nice. <gasps> Bellissimo. Wow! So I can feel like I'm in space and I'm actually in the ocean, which all I actually want to be is on the beach with sunshine. Eaten burgers. Sea truck X12. Wow. God, get me one of those. Um, a little picture. Shh. Beautiful creature. Keep cam and truck on. Oh. My little house is coming together. Can I paint the walls? Can I remove a wall? And build actually what I want? Or is that a load-bearing wall? I know. Let's head out, gang! Emergency supply cache, here I come! Hope I don't run out of battery. I probably won't. It'll be fine, but that's okay, because I've got a charging station back home. Oh, deep down, Jack, deep down! What are you? What did I just pick up? 
A creature egg? Ew! It looked like it had penises on it. Gross! Don't touch things in the ocean. Shit's scary. What are you? Mineral detector fragment. A mineral detector? Nice. A flare. Blueprint synthesized. Thank you, thank you. I got some water. H2. Oh, yeah, Nine. baby. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I know. I'm telling you, Sammy. You see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave. Not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. No. I'm serious, <laughs> Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can't. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. Sam, no! That's why you died! An alien got you! I was gonna say, too. Like, an alien? Oh, fucking planet's an alien! But then they called it out themselves, so it makes makes perfect sense. Uh, you go in there now. Uh, what am I doing? I'm putting a load of shite in here. Salt, titanium, nice, nice. Uh, creature egg that's probably gonna hatch, stick to my face, kill me. Hopefully not yet, though. I have a lot of stuff that I want to do. So that giant creature encased in ice was one that we saw before. Uh, we actually saw it in the version that I played before, but I'm curious to see what they do with that, because that's the real beauty of Subnautica. If you haven't played the original or seen the original series or anything like that and the story, I highly suggest you go watch those or play it for yourself because there's a really interesting story to these games. And for me, the more interesting aspect of it was when you start finding all of the alien technology and finding out what actually happened and seeing the big creatures and how they all fit into this world and the ecological side of this world. Um, so I'm and playing the original like early access of this of below zero you met alan the alien and then you gave him a body and that and i hope that that stuff's still in it because i really liked that that was such a cool aspect of that one that i want to be able to do that again i want to find alan i want to give him a body because i love when stuff gets real sci-fi thank you um i don't want it to just be a case of like going against all Terra and finding stuff out about your sister. That's fine, and I I want to do that anyway. But I want to have it be embroiled in this bigger like Cthulhu sort of monster verse aspect to it. Um, all right. Well, where to go next? I know we can go to where the captain was or the pilot was last seen, but I don't know if we're ready for that yet. Um, are there any other things that I can build? Um, I can build a bioreactor, but that's not really helpful to me right now either. A single solar panel is just as fine. Um, oh, we could listen to one more of Sammy's things. Sam message three. Hey, Robin, I got your Augie photo. Thanks so much for taking care of him, even though he's a cranky potato. Hey, the nickname actually fits that way, a cranky potato. I know he can be a handful, but I really appreciate it. I'm a bit worried about my other baby, the mission. One of my penguins found something, something big. But Altera is just like, nothing to see here. Honestly, kind of glad you can't answer so you can't, you know, rub it in my face. Go ahead, bask in the fact that you were a little bit right about them. My project is on the line. My job, my safety. Um, I heard about Xenoworks getting bought 
I'm sorry. But at least you still have your job. Guess you're one of us now. Like it or not, welcome to the Altera family. I, I should probably go before I say something I regret. Love you. Keep your chin up. Eye on the alien prize. Mm. Hey, Robin. I'm sorry my last message was so awful. I've been under a lot of stress. I'm not sure what's going on with anything. I can't really talk about it either. Oh, and I'm definitely not dating anyone on this water planet. Don't know what I was thinking there. Have I told you how cold it is here? Get this. I can't even get my wash and go dry before the wind freezes the moisturizer in my hair. Wild, right? Well, anyway, I'm sure you're mad at me after what I said, but I, I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. I'm sorry. Hmm. It was Fred the guy that she said she was dating? Maybe it's not a guy, but that's kind of where... I thought it was connecting, but maybe they're just friends. Hey, Robin. Last one. I, I really need someone to know. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen. You were completely right about Altera, okay? You were right. I was wrong. And the cat should be called Potato. I admit it. <laughs> mm, sorry. Bad attempt at a joke. I, I just... I don't know what to do. I guess I should just come out and say it at this point. I've said this much already. We found a frozen leviathan that's infected with Kara. Altera thinks they can use it for something. Weapons, experimental treatments, a whole range of things. But one end of the range is ugly, dangerous, but, but profitable, of course. What if it gets out while we're messing around with it? Or worse, what if it ends up a bioweapon in the wrong hands? I, I hope I'm overreacting, but I don't think I am. Anyway, uh, message me back, please. I could really use a friend. Mm. You're my sister. I love you. Interesting. So it seems like most of the story is going to revolve around this thing being frozen in ice. And it's over in that direction. Um, maps. So where am I? Is this where I found... Oh, it tells me. Oh, I don't know what these symbols are. Omega. Biological research classified. Ooh. All these green bubbles. I think I'm... Here? No. Here-ish? I don't know. Um, because this looks like the island I just went to where I found the the beacon thing. Engineering, robotics, xenobiological research, material excavation, mission HQ, communications, and logistics. Okay. Well, we're going to explore them all eventually, so that's good. Alright, well, I think that's a good place to leave it then for right now. Um, this stuff with the pilot, I feel like I'm going to need a sea truck, or at least I want to have a sea truck maybe to go do it. And definitely to get out to the other area with the Leviathan, because I think you need a sea truck to get through that. Remember that cave we had to go down through? I don't think you can get through that unless they've changed it um, without a sea truck, so I'm going to need that for next time. But we made a, a good little bit of progress. We read all the... we listened to a lot and kind of got the premise of how the story is set up and got our little base here and everything. Some aspects of it, I... I'm kind of bummed about because I really liked the premise the first time around, but that's also having... I haven't played the original, like, intention for what Below Zero was going to be, and now I can't help but compare it to this. When really I should just be appreciating this for what it is on its own. And what it is on its own is fine. It's just, I feel like the characters have a little less personality. Maybe it's just because I, they, the voices just kind of sound like every other voice that I hear in every other game all the time. Like having British characters with British accents added this sort of lively, vibrant, different sort of characteristic to them. Um, and I like that a lot. And I really liked having the sister alive before when she was up, she used to be up in the spaceship. And I don't even think you can see the spaceship anymore now. Can you? 
No. At least not... Right now I can't see it. There used to be a spaceship in the sky that you could see at all times, and I really liked that. There was something about surviving down here... ...while everybody else up there couldn't really come help because it was just too treacherous or something like that. And I feel like they could have married those ideas together a little bit, but we'll see where it goes. Maybe the meat of this story will actually be a lot better than what the other one was. I hope Alan is still in it. I hope that alien artifact kind of bringing, uh, what are they called? Precursors? Bringing a precursor basically back to life in this was really cool, and I'm curious to see if that's still in it. But I want to see that Leviathan break out of ice. I hope that happens as well. That would be such a cool thing to see. But we'll see what it is. If anything, I'm just really glad to be back playing Subnautica again. I'm, ba I'm glad to be back in this world. I'm glad that we can finally, like, play through a full version of this because I've been waiting for it for so long and now it's finally here. So I hope you guys are excited to watch it as well. Smash like in the video if you're excited for the rest of this series to come out. I'll try and keep them coming fairly regularly. So subscribe to be up to date for those as well and hit bells and all that so you know exactly when they're coming out. Um, on your notifications and we'll see what happens in the story excited to see what you guys think about it Let me know down in the comments below, but for now. I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching